Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa and I am so happy that you're here. Today, we're going through all of the products I finished but haven't thrown out yet. And the reason for that is these are the products that I finished, loved, and repurchased. So if you're interested to see what I finished and repurchased, you know what to do. I love this stuff so, so, so much. I'm love, I'm so excited to film this. So, first of all, if you're new to my channel, hi, how are you? I'm a little crazy, but we have a lot of fun. Definitely give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell for notifications because we are growing rapidly and I'm so excited. A lot of this is skincare because skincare is going to be the first thing that you finish and that you go through. That being said, I am literally about to completely change my entire skincare routine because I've been battling rosacea and adult acne and hormonal acne for a while now. And I am going on some new medication for it. I have some topical creams and an antibiotic to take. I'm actually considering vlogging that experience. We'll see how it turns out. You may see it in the future on this channel. You may not. I don't really know yet. But a lot of this is skincare. I repurchased it. However, some of it I can't use anymore because of a reaction with my medication, and I'll go through that with each process. That's actually the first thing. Okay, so this is the Mario Badesco Seaweed Cleansing Soap. I loved this for a very, very long time. Unfortunately, there is a there is a ingredient in here. Which one is it? Let me find it. Stearic acid that I cannot have with my skin condition. So unfortunately, I cannot use this cleanser anymore, but I really enjoyed it. It had a really nice calming effect. And then I always followed this up with the Mario Badesco Aloe Vera Toner. Loved this toner. I think this was my third bottle before I grabbed my fourth. I just love how it calms down my skin after washing it because with my sensitive skin and washing it and rubbing it and all of that good stuff, it was very, very easy to become red and that always kind of toned it down a little bit. I've decided to just continue the skincare method. So we are going to go in with the Mario, Des Mario Badesco um, Healing and Soothing Mask. Unfortunately, this is another thing that I have to stop because of an ingredient, but I loved how this made my face feel. It was always very soothing to my redness and calmed it, um, so I'm a little bummed about that one. I can't live without this. So this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream for extra dry skin with hyaluronic acid. I can't live without it, okay? Like, I can't. I had surgery in January of this year and I was very dry, my skin was very, very dry. It was also January on top of having a surgery and not really taking care of my skin because I was recovering. This brought me back to life so fast. I can't live without it. I love water gels. I think that they are perfect moisturizers for me with all of my skin issues. These are phenomenal, and this one in particular, I would pay $500 if it cost it, but luckily it's always around between 15 and 20 bucks for you, depending on where you buy it. I received this product in a trend mood box. This is a Bashia, I think, I don't know if I said that right, but Vitamin B12 Hydration Booster Serum. I also use their Vitamin C Serum. I haven't finished my first bottle yet, but I love these. They're so easy to use. They're not super oily. They dry down very, very quickly, which was really big for me because I like, I don't need to spend 45 minutes doing my skincare, but I do try and give space in between each step so the product can dry a little bit. I love this. I feel between this and the water gel, I have wonderful hydration in my skin and it actually cleared up some of my dryness that I had on my cheeks. And thanks to that, my makeup sits a lot nicer on my skin. I don't know how well these worked, but I tried the Ollie Vitamins and Undeniable Beauty and Glowing Skin. I needed the keratin and biotin for my hair growth, which is why I did the um, hair, skin, and nails and the other one had hyaluronic acid and collagen in it, which I knew was uh, really good for your skin. So I live by hyaluronic acid. <laughs> Anything that has hyaluronic acid in it, I'm probably lying. But I love this. I think it's great. I definitely notice a really big boost in my hydration with this product. I started it after all of that, so I knew it was from this. And then this, I definitely see a difference in my hair. 
which is amazing because I really need it. Okay, so I think the last piece of like skincare is this. This is the Morphe Eye Makeup Remover. This is my first bottle. I'm pretty much done. I have an Ed backup upstairs. I'm kind of that crazy person that if I love a product, as soon as I open my new one, I order one so I have a backup. Like I'm that person. But I love this. This is probably the best eye makeup remover I've ever used. It uh, is not very oily. I wear contacts, so like I was so used to putting the eye makeup remover on the cotton pa cotton round, and like I let it sit on my eye, obviously with my eye closed, for a couple minutes, and then wipe away the product. That way, it kind of melts the mascara and everything, and I'm not rubbing my eyes as much. However, when you have contacts on and you get a little bit of something in your eye, even if it's the tiniest bit and it's not painful, it's annoying. And this doesn't do that to my contacts. So I'm really, really, I love this. I, I love this. I use this in the Garnier Micellar Water and the Aveeno Makeup Removing Wipes. I use three different things to take my makeup off every day. I'm fun to travel with. So I have two things that are not makeup or hair related. So this is the Glory Cloud Birthday Cake Whipped Soap. Oh my goodness. Their sugar scrubs would be in here if I was done, but I'm still working on my first one. And their body butters are amazing. So Glory Cloud is a brand of, I want to say skincare, that I found on Instagram and I immediately fell in love with. I have the birthday cake one, the fruity pebble scrub is amazing. It's the best scrub that I've ever used and I used to make scrubs. The body butter is just, it's so good. And I just got the cinnamon roll one, flavor. I just got the cinnamon roll scent as well. So I love all of that. Since we've been in quarantine, I can't, I thought I was really one to get my nails done, but I like having the option, and these bad boys are amazing. These are the Kiss Nails, they're glue on, I have a set on right now. They last me about a week, which is fine, that's all I need personally, because then I get bored. And then when they come off, or they pop off, like th this set's probably going to pop off tomorrow. Um, or at least one of them is, and then when one of them does, I have to take them all off. But they're not damaging to my nails, which is... Very, very important. I have two hair products. I have a Lange Rival Heat Shield. I've used this for a very long time. I don't put heat to my hair very often because I have thin hair and my hair tends to fall out pretty easy. But when I do, I always use this heat shield. I love it so, so, so much when I am curling my hair because that's usually the one time I'll put heat to it. I don't even blow dry it. This is, this, this is air dried today, showered today. I showered for you. Oh, I love this dry shampoo. Uh, it is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I have it on auto delivery. It comes every single month. I It is the only way I've been able to get my hair, hair washing days as far apart as they are. I go about three days in between washing my hair and I never was able to do that before. And I feel like this, spray it in your roots at night, before you, right before you go to bed, rub it in, brush your hair, and it is unbelievable. I am now successfully able to go like three or four days without washing my hair, which has helped my hair, the health of my hair so much. And I have a couple makeup products. I want to mention one thing that I haven't ran out of yet, but I, it, it's, I'm going to actually hit pan on my first product, I think, relatively soon, and I wanted to mention it. But it's harder to run out of makeup products than it is skincare because, especially for me, I have three or four different foundations that I use on a regular basis. I have a couple concealers I use on a regular basis. So it's harder for me to get through those products because I don't use them as frequently as I would my skincare. I have two mascaras that I love. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise my Mascara. Please make sure you're changing out your mascaras every three months. It's really important, especially if you are one to like pump the wand in order to get more product on it. You're getting air in your mascara. First of all, try not to do that. I like sorrel. You're getting air in the mascara, which is going to create bacteria, and then you're putting it on your eyes. So like seriously, don't share mascaras with anybody. Don't use it for more than three months. This is your public service announcement. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. But these mascaras are great. I love them. I just tried out the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit as well, and I love that as well. So I've been really successful in finding mascaras, but 
I already have another one of these L'Oreal mascaras in my cart at Ulta for whenever I'm ready to place my next order. All right, so last two products, I, and they're both the same brand. So the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. They are both in the shade Snow, which is the shade Pale. I think it's I think it is the lightest shade, if not one, only one step up. But I like this. Um, I definitely, I have not yet repurchased this foundation, but I'm going to review the ingredients and make sure it doesn't have anything that I can't use. I did have to get rid of like a whole bunch of, one brand, I'm lucked out. It was only one brand I had to like really stop using because of my, my skin. And unfortunately it was Makeup Revolution. I love their stuff, and if you have their stuff, please, if you don't have any skin issues, you're fine. But if you do, consult with a doctor to make sure what ingredients you should stay away from. But I had to get rid of it all. I'm sad. But this, I believe, this one's okay. I haven't really researched it. I know the concealer's fine, so I assume that the foundation is too. I used this the entire two weeks I was in Japan last year, and it was just wonderful. It's nice and luminous and dewy without looking like sweaty and oily and gross. Great. But that is my whole basket of empty products that I repurchased. I think I might do this twice a year. I think it is a really fun video for me and I enjoyed it. So now I get to throw all of the, or recycle all of the cartridges, which is great because they've been sitting over here for a very long time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back on Tuesday with a try on of some super fun products. You don't want to miss it. Tuesday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. If you haven't done so yet, definitely subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. And I will see you on Tuesday.